this has been a while since I've made a vlog like this. But since uh, it's been so long since I updated you guys, and there's so much that I have to discuss today, um, I wanted to do it in video form because if I would have to type this all out, you guys would have to read like six paragraphs, and I don't uh, want you guys to do that. I just want to get it inside a video of roughly 10 minutes. So, like, just if you want to minimize this and do other things while you're listening to me, then that's fine too, because there's not much to see other than my face. So, if you want to minimize it, go ahead and uh, do that now. And I also will make some timestamps if I don't forget, so you can skip to the um, topic you want to hear me talk about. So, if you want to skip certain parts, just look in the description. The last blog that I have written uh, was in September. And in September, um, like my therapy uh, was going well. There were still some things that I found difficult, but it was going well. And um, I don't remember, but I think I also wrote that um, it was unclear uh, on how we would proceed. And uh, I'm happy to say now that I have um, stopped therapy for, what is it, two weeks now? I think my last session was um, November 14th, off the top of my head. Um, and actually the last session was quite funny because all we did was basically just chat about random stuff, not too much like psychological stuff because uh, yeah I didn't have much to talk about anymore in that regard it was basically just um, a fun chat I think it was really helpful I've learned a lot of things and I think one of the most important things is that you cannot um, keep everybody happy when you make a choice that is for you because there will always be people that agree with it and there will always be people that don't agree with it and the same is with an opinion um, that's the same thing so um, I think the most important thing is that I've learned to voice my opinion and not be too disheartened when somebody disagrees or when somebody um, expresses their opinion in a bit of an aggressive way usually I would be very um, I would be very I don't know how you say it, but like very sad or like very disappointed or mad that that person will do that, but now it doesn't hit me as much. I think that's one of the key things that I've learned. And also what's very important, I think, is that through the um, assertiveness training, uh, I have learned that, um, you know, other people also cope with things. Like, not that I didn't know, but like actually hearing it from people and uh, hearing their stories, that was actually really important because then I knew like, like then it really hit me like, okay, so other people have problems too. And like, we just all have to find ways to deal with them and do the best we can. So yeah, the therapy is uh, stopped and um, yeah, let's, let's see how it goes. Let's see if I am now able to manage my behavior and mood better but i have very high hopes for the future because if i look at how i interact with people now and how i act in stores and outside that's already a lot better than before so yeah i have high hopes for the future in that regard if you want to know more about it um and if you have a question by the way, feel free to um, drop a comment down below. And if you have been in therapy, how was it for you? Because I'm very interested to know um, how you have experienced therapy, if you have been there before. Now I want to talk um, about the music a bit. Actually, um, I have very good news. And that is that uh, the album is 99% finished, because all I need is a vocal from somebody that plays the psychologist in one of the skits for the album and then I'll send it off to a friend of mine who will then master the project and once that's done and the album art is created then I can set a release date for the album so that's gonna be 
um, probably somewhere at the end of the year. Hopefully then I know when the album can be scheduled for release. Um, but right now, all I can say is probably in the summer of 2021. But don't worry because two singles of the album, I'm depressed. And um, when you go and work, will be released earlier that year um, for promotion for the complete album. So um, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know. Actually, the process was um, was very um, different from uh, how I um, recorded um, most of the tracks before, um, let, let's say, before the last blog. Because in the last blog, I already talked about it, that it was going slow, but surely I was finding my work, work ethic back a little bit because um, that was one of the problems I had. I just didn't have the motivation to record and write um, new tracks because the, the project was just um, draining my energy and I didn't get any energy from the project itself, but I wanted to finish it. But for me to finish it, I would just had to tell myself, to, you know, we are going to finish this because the story is a very inspirational one. And it's also, I think, very important for other people to hear it. And then with other people, I mean, other people just like, you know, like like you, I mean, the person or actually the audience I'm talking to right now. And also for people with a disability, maybe who were in the same situation as I and are looking for a different way. So that's why I wanted to finish it. And I was able to do it. So that's cool. And the last few, like from like from October till now, I found the energy to work on it daily, very hard. So that's why I've been able to, um, to actually go ahead and um, get all the mixes ready and stuff. So it's almost there and more info on it uh, soon. Personally, I am doing um, a lot better too. I mean, I've already talked about therapy in the uh, first section, but I mean, I guess my mood is a little bit more stable overall, and um, and you know, um, it's easier right now to, uh, to 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 get through days. And of course, there are still hard days where I just um, feel a little down, but I guess that's just part of me and part of life and part of the. Uh, route that I chose so that you just I just have to deal with it and luckily I know that now and now I know if I have a bad day that good days will come eventually the last thing that I want to talk about right now is um, the guardianship I am happy to announce that um, the guardianship will be revoked um, January 1 2021 um, so that's, that's, uh, that's good. I think, um, now I can finally, uh, get into a new phase, um, and work with, um, other people to see if they can help me develop more. And of course, here, um, at the house where I'm living, they already do the best they can, but I mean, well, actually, let me explain it. So the guardianship is getting revoked, but I am getting a mentor and I am getting somebody that basically um, looks over my finances. It's not like I am uh, not in control of any money. I just mean that that person uh, will check if my bills get paid and if um, I have a steady amount coming in and not too much going out. I don't know what the name is for that in English, but that's basically what that person is gonna do. And the mentor uh, person is going to talk with me like I believe it's once in the eight weeks if I'm correct so once in eight weeks that person visits me and then asks me how I'm doing how everything is going if there's anything I want different or anything new I want to learn and then um, she'll also talk with you know the people here where I live right now to see if they think I am functioning well and stuff and it's not as dramatic as it might sound at least I hope so because as soon as that mentor will get to know me she'll probably know that I don't need that much help to basically vocalize what I want different and how I want to uh, progress and one other thing I want to mention is uh, honestly 
I didn't want a mentorship or somebody that looks over my finances. Well, actually, over my finances, I might want in the first period because I was never allowed to do it when I asked my parents. So I cannot expect that if, if people would say, okay, Jordi, now you have to do it by yourself and then just drop all the paperwork and give me all the login info and be like, now you can take care of yourself. I didn't think that was a good idea. So I was like, maybe I can have that person for three to five years or something. And then if she's like, oh, um, you can actually do it yourself, then um, she'll probably let me. Because I already had a conversation with her about it and she said, okay, we'll see um, how far you can go. And all I'm looking for is perspective and a way to move forward. And it seems like she is really willing to do that. And the same goes with the mentor, basically. Um, if she sees that I can take care of myself, maybe in a, in, a few, in a few months or years, she's going to be like, okay, I'm just going to be in the background if you need me. Or maybe she disappears altogether. I guess that is all um, that I have to say about me right now. I just uh, want to thank you guys for the amazing support that you've shown still while you're waiting for the new album. Uh, the streams are still going going great. I still see new people popping up now and again. So I just want to thank you guys for that. You know, if you ever want to talk about something, it doesn't matter what it is, just feel free to also hit me up on social media or whatever you want. I want to thank you guys um, for watching this video. And uh, as soon as I have more info, um, I'll let you guys know. For now, I say stay safe and I'll get you guys next time. Take care.